There are tokens on the Bitcoin blockchain now. Much like an Ethereum token, an ERC20 token, there are now Bitcoin BRC20 tokens. This is arguably the most notable thing to happen to Bitcoin since Bitcoin, or really it began, right? Today I'm going to walk you through how to participate with this. How do you use these tokens? What wallet do you use? How do you fund your wallet? By the end of this video, you will know how to participate and above all, just buy and get in the game when it comes to Bitcoin tokens. And I'm even going to touch on how easy it is to deploy your own Bitcoin tokens as well. My name is Vosk. I'm a full time Bitcoin miner. I make a couple Bitcoin videos along the way, too. You're on the Voscoin YouTube channel. Never a dull moment in crypto, that's for sure. Links out in the video description below. I'll walk you through it all. So you're gonna click the Unistat link and you're gonna go to Unistat. Then you can go ahead and download this wallet from the Chrome Web Store. It's a pretty quick process, just like that, it's here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new wallet. I need to punch a password in gonna be YouTube dude <laughs> and that's my secret recovery phrase with this you can take everything that's in my wallet so <laughs> yeah make sure you never let anyone see this like you just saw mine these are gonna be my addresses here giving me a native segwit a nest segwit a taproot and a legacy address you can select one of these if you'd like just leave it on native segwit uh, for now and we'll go ahead and move on this gives us our address here you see that it populates our brc 20s so now i've got a wallet and it's just that easy make sure you back up that phrase that is the key to your wallet if someone else gets that they can steal all your stuff they can take all your bitcoin and bitcoin tokens if your computer blows up and you lose that phrase you've lost your keys to the castle we've talked about ordinals before they're basically nfts on bitcoin but the maniacs continue to take it further right so unistat has they got like a first mover advantage right open source chrome extension for bitcoin ordinals and brc20 open source cool better be it's bitcoin centric right inscribe on the fly you don't need to run a full bitcoin node you can basically utilize their stuff and inscribe or mint your own nfts or ordinals or tokens whatever when it comes to inscribing right we can come over here and i can upload a picture and then i can put the btc address it's going to get this instead of doing a picture just do text single cool estimates my fee here it says we're highly congested right now Basically, it's gonna be expensive to participate. Bringing me to a whopping $8, basically, in order to do this. You click submit and you get the invoice, you pay this and they'll handle the rest. That's how easy it is to mint an NFT or inscribe an ordinal, as they call it, on the Bitcoin chain. But we talked about that before. I just wanted to do a quick recap of it. It's BRC20 tokens. Oh, that's the buzz. That's the talk of the town. So you go to the BRC20 tab, we can see all of these. In particular, or Ordi have gotten some early buzz here. Um, some people are, are even buying this for $4 a token. That's crazy, okay? Like, that's nuts. If you want to mint your own BRC20 token, right? You could put in test and how many you want and you could click next and then you're just gonna mint it, right? It's just like we talked about before, you punch in a Bitcoin address, you submit and pay the invoice and then you've gone and minted a BRC20 token. But this is where it's gonna get a little bit more exciting because I'm gonna click on deploy and I'm gonna do something crazy. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get to minting here. So BRC20 deploy i would put the ticker as t-a-i-l but on unisat someone's already grabbed that so we're just going to keep it on brand and put v-o-s-k we're going to put 74115 that is basically tails but spelled out with numbers 
Do you see it? Do you, do you see it there? The limit per mint is going to be three. Why? Because the average Shiba Inu litter size is three. And you know we keep it tail centric here. So this is gonna be our text string. We're gonna inscribe one BRC20 token here. We're gonna click next. And uh, we've already connected again, you know, our Unisat wallet. This is going to be our associated fee, a whopping $4 network fee. It's highly congested, but the good news is we got dot one Unisat, uh, so we got 1% off. <laughs> it's, I guess it's kind of like we're at the grocery store and the coupons add up. So we will click submit and we'll just pay with the Unisat wallet because that'll make this quick, easy payments. Whoosh sign and send and just like that the transaction is submitted now all i'd ask is if you click that link down in the video description below and if you're going to get into brc20 tokens mint one of ours first this one is for fun it's not an official coin there's no financial value or anything like that we're just having fun doing crypto things with our crypto friends but i would be absolutely honored if the first token you mint on the Bitcoin chain is ours. But there's one other crucial step. We need some Bitcoin, right? Go to a centralized exchange, turn your dirty dollars into BTC, right? Something like Coinbase, something that hopefully won't disappear overnight. I don't think it will. Then you withdraw it to your Bitcoin wallet, right? So you just got to go over there, buy some coins and grab your wallet address. If you already have some Bitcoin, great. So I've got my Bitcoin wallet right here and I'm going to go ahead and punch that address in, right? And then I'm just going to go and send over uh, some Bitcoin. So I'm going to send 0.002 Bitcoin right now. Uh, it's pretty expensive to transact on the Bitcoin chain uh, because of all this craziness that's going on. But, you know, alas, we're here to party. So we went ahead and we sent some Bitcoin over there. It should hit the wallet, you know, and... 10 20 minutes or so if you don't fund your wallet you can't do anything we're talking about because every cryptocurrency transaction is a transaction it's a block it's on the chain and guess what miners want to be compensated for doing that and right now daily transactions are hitting an all-time high more people are using bitcoin than ever before Bitcoin ordinals are generating fees that Bitcoin has never seen before. This is the first time in Bitcoin history that something is contributing to like the actual blockchain and it being a platform and not just some kind of peer-to-peer -peer currency digital gold. This is pretty cool, pretty crazy. There's a couple of different ways to look at it, uh, but I'm personally thrilled about this. This is also driving Bitcoin mining revenue through the roof because all of these fees go directly 100% to Bitcoin miners. If you're interested in mining yourself, then something like the plug and play Evergreen Miner would probably be perfect for you. It doesn't make much noise, doesn't produce much heat, doesn't consume much electricity, and it's profitable. It's hard drive mining, and it's really easy to use. And with my Evergreen Mining Rig, I'm earning $60 a month in passive income. If that sounds interesting to you, I've got a link out down below that not only supports the channel, but also a coupon code that saves you 20 bucks. So we've got all this set up here. I'm still waiting for my Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It, it is a slow chain. Uh, no doubt about that. Uh, so just in the sake of speeding up this video, and this also brings up a good point. We've been so focused about this Unistat wallet, which is kind of like cutting edge tech for all this stuff. You don't have to use it to pay the fee. Like you could withdraw from Coinbase, you could use another wallet. So I'm gonna use my wallet address in this Unistat wallet. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and submit and pay the invoice here. Uh, so this gives me the address I need. Then I'm gonna go over to my Bitcoin wallet. I'm gonna punch that address in. And I also need to make sure that I get the right amount. So, oof, you're sp you're paying extra fees for spending unconfirmed transactions. To avoid this, you should wait. But I'm a maniac. So we're gonna go ahead and send it. Great success. Exodus is a nice wallet, it's free. It's available on your phone, it's available on your computer. It already picked up the fact that we broadcasted the transaction. It has not been mined and included in the block yet. It's not like officially a part of the blockchain. 
but it's basically like you're in line to get in the blockchain. There's something else you should know about. Have you ever heard of ENS, Ethereum name service? You know, you can get a username like Voscoin.eth. Well, that's a possibility with Bitcoin as well with this whole dot sats thing. It stands for Satoshis, it's a micro unit of Bitcoin. So while we're here, I might as well just mint my own name. So I punch it in, next. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pony up on this fee. <sighs> and pay it. This time I'll use the Unisat wallet. You can see that it pops up just like MetaMask does, if you're familiar with it, the most popular browser-based wallet. So I'll sign and send, and in one click, the transaction's done. Pretty cool, pretty easy, pretty simple. Nice. Nice. But I'm not just gonna grab the dot sats, I'm also gonna grab the dot unisat. Because spending a little bit of money, a little bit of coin up here may pay off earning you hundreds, thousands, or tens of thousands, or even hundreds of thousands of dollars down the line with future cryptocurrency airdrops. So this is a great opportunity for me to interact with all these protocols, do these things, and also just secure my name. I love this stuff, I think it's fun. It's a great opportunity to learn. I make these videos and share them with you guys if you find it interesting. You know, obviously you, you get involved, you get engaged uh, with all this. Uh, so I view this as having fun, a hobby, a passion, right? But I'm also, I'm also chasing the coin. I'm also looking for the next cryptocurrency airdrop. And if you think crypto airdrops won't come to Bitcoin and Bitcoin tokens, if the Bitcoin blockchain really takes off as being a platform, well, then you'd be wrong. I'm betting on that. I'm here and I say, why not? New things like this simply bring new opportunities. I invite you to join the Voscoin Discord server and hang out with other DGENs that are doing all this crazy leading edge stuff. You'll see a lot of new people popping up as being like the go-to source for BRC20 news and other stuff like that. One thing I came across was this BRC20 coins uh, Twitter account and they deployed their own huge coin. It's gonna be huge, right? And uh, they're hyping it up, only this, they're gonna mint more, they're gonna burn them off, you know, won't see the market cap until it's minted out and trading, all that kind of stuff. You know, we'll see where it goes, right? Uh, but you know, with that level of effort and enthusiasm, and, and just to be fully clear, I don't have any kind of relationship with them or, or anything like that, right? I, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna connect my Unistat wallet, I'm gonna click, and I'm gonna go ahead and mint this. It'll give me this uh, same order here. I'm in no rush to get this one, right? Just throw it in the queue, get my fee down. Uh, so I'll take the economy route on this, which this is a good reminder. Basically, if it's fully minted out and you took the economy route, then your transaction is just going to get blown up. But uh, totally fine with me in this equation. I think we got plenty of time. And uh, so I'm going to save a few bucks, sign and send. Kapow, kachow, bing, bang, boom on the economy train. Let's go. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to get started using tokens on the Bitcoin blockchain. Don't let any of this scare you. Don't find it daunting. This is easy. Just use a couple bucks, check it out, have fun, participate. Imagine if you could go back in time and get into all of the early ERC-20 tokens of being on the cutting edge of that front. Maybe you were there. If you were, you realized it was a good time. Bitcoin has a market cap massively higher than Ethereum. I don't need to really give Bitcoin an introduction. Uh, this is exciting, I'm here for it. Maybe it'll go nowhere, but if it goes somewhere, I'm gonna be in the game, I'm gonna know how to participate, and if there is some kind of opportunity, I'm like, Phew, I'll, I'll go ahead and grab some of those. Hell yeah. And, and again, as a reminder, minting, all you're paying is the transaction fee. There's no cost to these. Like you're not paying transaction fee plus, you know, X amount of Bitcoin to get these tokens. You're, you're literally just paying the transaction fee. They are putting a service fee in, so good on them. They're probably having a pretty good time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for our CIO, our chief inscription office here at the Voscoin YouTube channel. That's gonna be, of course, none other than Tail 
She's been renamed from Tails, a resident of Shiba Inu and Doge. I'll see you on the next one.